Okay, guys, we're going to go over Lesson 4's homework. Um, and here, last night we were talking about perpendicular lines, and now we're going to talk about parallel lines. So on number one, it says um, trace one pair of lines that appear to be parallel. And we remember that parallel is uh, at least two lines that if they went on forever, they would never touch. So here's some examples of what that could look like. So they kept going. These lines would never intersect. Now on this t-shirt, the sides of it, um, those would be considered parallel. There's other examples, but that's the first thing that stuck out to me. On this sign, the opposite sides are parallel. On the guitar, the easiest thing that I saw were the, I guess you call those frets. I'm not really sure, but the things underneath the strings. And then on this flower pot, you could say the top of the pot um, the bottom of that lip and even on the bottom as well those are all parallel on the shopping cart um, you could say the bottom of the shopping cart is parallel to the bottom of where um, the groceries would go in and then even the top of the cart they're all parallel and then on the roller coaster picture I would say the little the beams that hold it up are all parallel as well so if they kept going they would never intersect and then number two says, how do you know if two lines are parallel? And the only way to know is um, they can look parallel, but if you extended them far enough, if they went on forever, they would never touch. And then here on um, number three, then on problem number three, it says using the grid to draw lines that are parallel as best as you can so um, on the square grid this first one I have is parallel and this second pair as well and you can just it's almost impossible to get it perfect but just as long as you can see that if kind of tell if they kept going and you could use your ruler to tell that they wouldn't touch then they're considered parallel and I did this with the same thing on the triangle grid okay on number uh, four uh, you're going to look at the shapes and you're going to highlight all the parallel sides and then name them. Um, and so if you look, uh, it says circle the letter of the shapes that have at least one pair of parallel sides. Mark each pair of parallel sides with arrows and then identify the parallel sides with a statement. So if you look at A, they have an example here and it says side AC is parallel to BD and the symbol we use for parallel is literally two tiny parallel lines kind of looks like um, the sides of a rectangle so I'm going to trace those and then on a rectangle also the top and the bottom are parallel as well so I'm going to label those a B is parallel to CD okay and that's all the sides on that on side B the trapezoid the top and the bottom are also parallel uh, the sides are not going to be because if they kept going, if you extended them, they would eventually cross over. And so we're going to say HI is parallel to JK. And here on C, it, all, all of the sides eventually touch because it's a triangle. And that means there are no parallel sides. On, si on example D, it's an oval. There's no sides because it's circular, so it has no parallel sides. Same thing, well, not same thing, but uh, E is a triangle as well, so there's no opportunities to be parallel because they all intersect. But F is a rectangle, and so it has two pairs. OP is parallel to MN, and ON is parallel to PM. Okay, example G um, actually has a lot of parallel sides. The top and the bottom are parallel. The parallel sides are like kind of across from each other. If you were to fold it, they would match up. Um, so you can see I'm drawing the arrows in a different color. So the red goes with the red side, the blue goes with the blue side, and the green goes with the green side. And so I'm gonna write all of those statements off to the side that show they're parallel. So TU is parallel to RO, or sorry, RQ.
write this down here so it fits better. Okay. You can see these green sides will never touch if they keep going. And um, we're going to label those as being parallel as well. And these two blue sides as well. Okay, example H, um, the arrow has a few sets of par parallel sides. The long part of the arrow, those two red sides are parallel because if you extended them, they would never touch. And then technically the end and the two side parts of the arrow that I've labeled here in yellow, those are technically parallel with the end of the arrow. So I'm gonna say TZ is parallel to XY. ZY is parallel to UT. And ZY is also parallel to XW. All right, last page. Number five says, true or false, all shapes with a right angle have sides that are parallel. Explain your thinking. Um, and we know that's false because just because it has a right angle doesn't mean it has parallel sides. In this example, um, I have a right triangle, which means it has a right angle, but it has no parallel sides. So it doesn't have to be parallel just because it has a right angle. Now, it does have to have a perpendicular side, but it asks for parallel. Number six says, explain why A, B, and C, D are parallel, but E, F, and G, H are not. Well, A, B, and C, D, if they kept going, they would never touch, so that makes them parallel. If I extended them forever, they would never touch because they're a straight line. But with E, F, and G, H, they're not touching right now, but if you kept going, even just in this short um, page, eventually if they extended, they would um, intersect, which means they can't be parallel. So I'm writing, if these went on, they would eventually intersect. All right, number seven says draw a line using your straight edge, so like a ruler, and now use your right angle template that we've been using in class the last couple days and a straight edge to construct a line parallel to the first one you drew. So I'm just going to do the best I can on the iPad, and I'm drawing a um, straight line, as straight as I can without a straight edge on here, and then um, what you would do is you could take your right angle template and um, use that as a straight edge to draw a line that's parallel. And if they're truly parallel, the line that you could draw between them would make a right angle. All right, hope this helped.